Hey everybody, we are looking at the histology of an eye. This eye has been cut, uh, imagine a mid-sagittal cut of an eye. This is the lens, this big round thing. So this is the anterior side, here's the cornea. This is the cornea, the lens, and so the pupil would be in this area. Think of like, yeah, a sagittal cut. And so this is the anterior side, the front, and we go through all the way to the back. So here's the very back. Now if I follow this all the way around, it forms a full circle. So I need you to envision that in your mind. This is the anterior side with the lens, from all the way to the back, yeah. All right, so we want to focus on what's in the back as far as the histology goes. We'll learn about other things, more about the lens and cornea and all that. We'll learn all about that with a di dissection of an eye. But as far as the histology, what I want to be able to recognize is what's back here in the retina. This back layer, well, this back layer here is called the retina. We're at 40x right now. If I can get it in focus. Let's go to 100x. The eye, of course, is for vision. And for us to, d to see things, that means we need to have some kind of stimulus. The stimulus for vision is light. So we need special receptors to detect light. In the previous video, we saw uh, olfactory sensory neurons that detected chemicals for smell. So that's chemoreceptors. Those are chemoreceptors. These are photoreceptors. Right now, what I'm pointing at, you can see the darker nuclei here. These are photoreceptors. How do I know it's th these ones and not th these ones or these ones? Because I've, I've learned about the organization of the eye and that's what you're gonna learn right now. So let's go a bit closer, let's go to 400X. Photoreceptors are unlike those olfactory neurons because these photoreceptors are not neurons. They're like Merkel cells, they are special receptor cells. So they are, they're neuroepithelium, they're modified special epithelium, and when they get activated by light, they send a signal to the, to the neuron that's next to it. So that's why they're called neuroepithelium. So this layer of cells right here, you can see the nuclei of them, and these are their, this areas here are also part of their cells, whoops. They're called, I'm already forgetting what they're called, but they're part of the rods and cones. Um, these are the photoreceptor cells. They are receptor cells, they are not neurons, but they communicate with neurons. Photoreceptors, they're rods and they're cones. We can't really see which ones are rods and cones at this uh, without you know, an, a really nice electron microscope. But um, these are rods and cones. These are photoreceptors. They are light sensitive. Photo means light. Photoreceptors, when activated, they then activate these bipolar cells. These are neurons. And they're called bipolar cells because they have a bipolar shape. You've got dendrites over here. And you've got axons and axon terminals over here. These are bipolar cells, they're unmyelinated. They just need to go this really short distance. Okay, so photoreceptors talk to bipolar cells. Bipolar cells talk to ganglion cells. All these cells you see here are ganglion cells, um, which is an app name. We're technically in the peripheral nervous system. Uh, so here we have these ganglion cells. Their dendrites are over here, receiving input from um, receiving input from uh, the bipolar cells. The axons of these ganglion cells, that's what you see in this lighter pink. These axons all combine, and I don't know if we have it on this slide, but they all combine to form the optic nerve. They exit, yeah, I don't think it's on this slide, but if we had the perfect cut where, where the optic nerve was, whoops, if we had, a, if we had the perfect cut, perfect cut these axons of the ganglion cells would exit at a central part of the back of the eye, forming the optic nerve. The part where they exit, there's no room to have photoreceptors, so that's, that's your literal blind spot. There's an area of the, in the back of your eye where you can't sense any light, where you can't see things. Our brain is good at filling in the, filling in the blanks, but if you put something at just the right part of your field of view, you can make something quote unquote disappear. You won't see it even though it's, even though it's there because it's not shining on that right part of your retina. Um, right, so the axons of ganglion cells, this is what forms your second cranial nerve, your optic nerve. 
um, which then may or may not cross at the chiasm, going on to the lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus. From there, those neurons form, their axons form the optic radiations and they go to the visual cortex in the occipital lobe. All right, I hope this was useful. Um, oh, I guess I can also show you one other thing. This is the choroid, choroid tunic, the choroid layer. You can see all these blood vessels. And then the outer portion is the sclera, the protective fibrous area, the sclera. So you've got the protective fibrous tunic, choroid tunic, and then the retina is these layers of three cells is the retina. All right, that's it for now. Let me know if you have questions.